Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Friends. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to uh, become friends uh, with people in Minecraft. So as you can see here, I don't have any friends at the moment. But if we look in chat, uh, my other account has sent me a friend request and I can actually click on accept or deny uh, depending on whether I want him to be my friend or not. And becoming someone's friend gives you lots of benefits. So here we go, we can see he is online in my GUI, which is cool. We can have a look at our current requests here in the GUI and we can go to the next page if we are really popular. Maybe if you were on a big server with a big YouTuber in this plugin, you they would have so many uh, requests from different people. We can go back, look at all the block players if you don't want people to keep spamming and whatnot. Then we have the options button. So if we go in here, this is pretty cool. So you can turn off whether you want players to actually send you requests or not. So if this function is disabled, people can't send a request to you. So that's very cool. Uh, next one is friend chat. So whether you can chat to your friends, join quit messages, so you can see whether your friends uh, actually join the server and jumping, which is basically teleporting. So let's keep that on for now as we will want to uh, teleport to our other account. So if you click on his name, you can either remove him as a friend or teleport to him, which is jump. We can look at all the commands by doing F help or friends help. And as you can see here, this is everything in the GUI, um, but in command form. So you could type it if you wanted to, but uh, we are going to just remove him as a friend He's not my friend anymore, and we are going to block him. So F block and my other account. There we go. So we can't an actually send him a request because he is blocked. We can unblock him by using the same command. There we go. And then if you left click him with the head, that actually also sends a friend request. So that is really cool that you can do that. And if we open the GUI again, um, he hasn't added me yet, but uh, that is very, very, very cool. Really like this plugin. So we are going to have a quick look in the config file and see what things you can edit in there. So here we are in the friends folder, and as you can see, there are four different files. The main one you want to edit is obviously the config file. We then have messages, which you could change, but there's no real reason to, and the MySQL database, which you could set up. But Let's go into the config file and have a look and at what you can edit. So you can change the prefix if you really wanted to. I know lots of people do like having that. You can disable jumping, which you might want to do if you have a factions or RPG server. Um, maybe if it's set in the Nordic times or medieval times, you don't want people teleporting all over the place. Uh, so you could disable that. If you want to send your friend a message, you could do at friends and it will only go to um, your friends. Then we have some very useful options, which is very, very cool. So whether your friends can hit each other, I would suggest using this because you don't want your friends uh, hitting you, uh, maybe by accident or on purpose, you don't know. Hit to request. So um, I showed you in game that if you hit someone with the head, they get a request, which is a cool feature and whether they can drop and place that item. So I would say no, it's best they can't drop it or place it. And then uh, the format of um, when they were last online. So it goes days, hours, minutes, um, etc. So that is cool. It shows you when your friends were last online. And then there's some information about the friends item. So it's your player head, there's law, and that's the item ID. You could change it to something else, but um, I, I suggest leaving it like that because it's really cool that it's your player head. And then we have everything to do with the GUI. So this includes all the slots, the item IDs, the names, and all that good stuff. So uh, once again, I would not recommend um, changing any of this because it does look really nice uh, the way it is. So uh, if you leave this alone, it'll be fine. And at the end, we have the disabled world. So if you want to add a world, maybe if you had an RPG world or something similar, you could just add a new world, RPG world, and then it would not work there. So that is the plugin. It's free to download off Svigger. It's uh, really cool. Probably the best friends plugin that I've seen. Um, so go ahead and use it. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.